Hey everyone, it's Maka from Inside Gaming with Seagate. Previously, we've looked at the Firecuda Gaming Dock and all of the amazing functionality it provides. Today, we're gonna take a closer look at installing an M.2 NVMe SSD into the Gaming Dock's expansion slot. Let's get inside. As the gaming industry's first docking station integrated with a hard drive, the Firecuda Gaming Dock is the perfect centerpiece for your gaming desk, allowing PC to peripheral connection via Thunderbolt 3. And the Gaming Dock's internal 4TB hard drive provides ample storage for your gaming or media library. But what's really impressive about the Gaming Dock is the M.2 NVMe SSD expansion slot, beautifully integrated into the device. Installing an SSD like the Firecuda 510 doesn't just give you more space to save your games to. Its blazing fast NVMe speeds will allow you to maximize your game's load and level times too, thanks to the Gaming Dock's Thunderbolt 3 connection. Detailed directions on how to install the SSD can be found on Seagate's online interactive user manual, but we'll show you a quick overview. First, confirm you're using the right type of SSD. The Firecuda Gaming Dock will support a 2280-sized M.2 NVMe SSD. Note that M.2 SATA SSDs are not supported. Your drive may be exposed to handling or electrostatic discharge hazards after unpacking. So make sure to keep the SSD in the protective sleeve until you're ready for installation and always wear a properly grounded anti-static wrist strap throughout the entire installation procedure. Start by safely ejecting the gaming dock from your laptop and then power it down. Don't ever try to install the SSD when the power is running. Gently pull on the end cap to loosen and easily remove it, revealing the expansion slot. Using a screwdriver, remove the two screws fastening the protective plate to the tray and then remove the protective plate. Next, remove the SSD mounting screw and be sure to keep all the screws in a safe space. When the slot is ready, remove the SSD from its protective bag and make sure to handle it by its edges or frame only. Do not touch the connector pins or the printed circuit board. Check to make sure that the notch on the SSD is correctly aligned with the divider in the slot and then gently push the SSD into the slot until it's firmly seated. Once the SSD is in place, secure the mounting screw and re-secure the protective plate, making sure to replace the screws on the top cover. Return the end cap and power it up. Your computer should recognize the additional storage device, but if your machine doesn't see it, then it'll likely just need to be formatted, which you can do using the disk management utility. An SSD like the Firecuda 510 comes pre-formatted for both Windows and Mac, However, reformatting for your specific machine can better optimize the drive. Remember, formatting erases all data on a storage device. If you have data on the SSD, make certain to back it up before formatting. On our PC, we can format the SSD in the disk management utility by selecting the volume marked unallocated. This is your SSD, and if you need some confirmation, just double check that the volume sizes match. Next, right click and select new simple volume and follow the on-screen instructions of the install wizard. The install wizard will let you partition the drive, assign it a drive letter, give it a name and so forth. Click finish and you're done. And remember, as with any external storage device, make sure you properly eject the drive before removing your laptop from the gaming dock. And that's it. Be sure to check out our channel for other videos. We know a lot of you have been taking some extra time to upgrade your machines and we have some content to help you out. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and thanks for watching.